So capital letters for output I use, small letters for input. But it's not compulsory, but if you are using it, it is okay. So these two are outputs. Then uh, there is a keyword assign. If it is not an assign keyword. So in C language, it will be providing S is equal to A, X, R, B. C is equal to A and B. So directly you can give it. But here uh, we have to use assign keyword. Okay. So assign. Assign. XRB. This power symbol is used for representing XR operation. So if you are downloading that uh, quick reference, you can refer it. So you take your mobile phone, try to find out the quick reference, refer it, find out whether it is correct. There are quick reference search. There you will get the syntax.
so after this simulation procedure simulate start simulate please note down in your notebook after compiling you have to go for simulate start simulate. i will wait the uh, wait start simulation it will open another window okay in that you will be getting a full work okay just uh, give expansion you not done work directly with expand Please listen. You can observe. As far as it is downloaded by the previous batch student, our package it is displayed there. Similarly, what the file I have there downloaded, it is also displayed. So if I would have given half a dollar, that is not simple. If I am giving half a dollar, then the same file will be repeated two times. You may be trying to execute the file from other batch student. That's why I am uh, requesting everyone to give your registration number. Because today only two files are there, but when you go for after five or six weeks, sir, it may have twenty files. In that, you have to find out your file because it will be very difficult. So ensure that always, if you provide the correct functionality, your serial number, your lab number, and then your registration number means it will be very easy for you to find out your file. You can execute your file. Okay. So no need to worry about the other company or they have done it properly. None of our business. You can just pick your registration number five. You can exit. So everyone are getting this. Up to this. Okay. This is everyone are getting. Any doubt? Then just raise your hand. Someone may. So source directory. Browse. We check that it is in this. Okay. Empty. Or your registration number. Okay. If it is in some other person's registration number, you move it to this one. Or you can create your own register path. Yeah. So select this particular thing. If you select means it will go to this one. So mostly it will be like this for you. So please change to this one. Okay. Then it will be comfortable. Next. Sir. Change directory option is there. You check that it is in the MATLAB. If it is in some other thing, you choose MATLAB. So inside MATLAB, the students have created one uh, folder. So that we will do after add and drop. If you the perfect seating arrangement is made after add and drop, that time you can create a folder of your name and then you can save all your files. Okay. Now at present you put it to MATLAB and then home MATLAB. So for you, you just close, then automatically it will map to that. If it is error, we so continue. Simulate our simulation. You check that you are getting the file, your file, underscore your registration number in the work directory. Okay, wow. So I am insisting always give with your registration number. It will be comfortable when you are executing the file in our lab system. Or if you are trying to execute some other file, it is best of your time. Okay, now we can minimize this. You will get a window like this. So in this, you can see that the inputs and outputs are called as objects. Okay, here two objects A and B are input S and C. You can right click, select any one, right click. There is an option called Add to Wave. Add to wave <coughs> signals in design. You can take a picture of it. So next time when you are doing something, you can reference. You can take a photo of it. So you have to select add to wave signal in design. Okay. If you select select that, you can take a picture for a more purpose. Signals in design. You will get all the inputs. Your registration number and then A B S C. Here all the inputs will be in high impedance stage. It is not down. All the inputs will be in the high impedance stage. High impedance stage. H I is a transfer high impedance. the 
these two. Okay, this one, A and B. Select A and B. Right click, there is an option group. Please name not down. Select the signals A and B, right click, there is an option group. You can take a picture of it if you want. Or the okay. So A and B group it. So in this group you can mention it as input. Similarly, you can select the output signals. Group. You can put it as output. So this is language you are typing now. Print the scan of print of some uh, information. This is my right there. So that can be done. Okay, so rectify each individual separately. First you listen from the board. Okay, our input and output, we are mentioning like this. Inputs will be in high impedance stage, initially. Output will be in X. X stands for? X stands for don't tag anything. Stuck at X. Don't tag. Don't tag. Don't tag. You did So now, uh, how to provide the inputs? Please listen. Providing input. First method of providing input. Not down. First method of providing input. Method one. You have to give right click. There is an option force. Please note down. Method one. How to provide the input? Right click. So don't uh, do it simultaneously, please note down. Later on you can do. So you select that particular thing, force option is there. Okay, this is we have to select force first method. This is method one. Force. Here I impedance stage is there now. You can provide it as zero. Always try. Don't freeze the so right click. Force. Okay. Select a particular input. Don't select the output. Select particular input. I am going to give the value. So default value is high impedance stage. Okay. Why they are using high impedance stage means uh, for low power consumption. Your mobile phone screen has been off, uh, but it is background is running low power consumption. Same principle. Okay. All the signals will be going to high impedance stage for low power consumption. So I am providing zero. Sorry. Ah, okay, zero. Initial first step I am giving zero. Drive. Okay. So I am driving the first input. Okay. For B, force zero. Use drive. Okay. If you click once, here the option is there. Under picoseconds. Here under picoseconds, there is option for clicking once. Run. Then click once. You can see that the input is 0, 0, the output is 0, 0. Okay. Now the next condition, I am giving B as 1. Okay. Right click B. Don't disturb A. Right click B. Put it to 1. Drive it. Okay. And then you click once. You will get the sum is equal to 1, carry is 0. Next option. I am making this B as 0. A as 1. Clicking once. One zero. So if I freeze the cursor, you just observe one. Don't do simultaneously. So please keep the cursor here, you will get what is the input at this point of time, 0, 0. What is the output? What is the input at this point of time, 0, 1. What is the output? What is the input at this point of time, 1, 0. What is the output? Okay. So next, sir, both are 1. So force it.
carry is one, some will fail. So you are getting the total amount. Okay. So there are the there are some options for the changing the backgrounds, changing this uh, color. Okay. So the, in that uh, preference you can change if you want when you are going. So the edit preference there we can change all this window color and the color okay. So this is about uh, your uh, methodology one. Sir, I want to follow second method. Okay, method number two. You please note down. So I want to clear it. Okay, I have to clear it. Means there is option here. Restart. Okay, please note down. To clear the window, screen, waveform window. We are having the option restart. You can give OK. It will clear everything. Whatever you have done now. I want to follow the second method. Any one, uh, three methods are there, any one method you can follow. Method one, uh, given, method two. Okay. Method two is forcing by a clock. Okay. Right click A, there is an option clock. Please note down. Method two, select a particular signal, select a clock. Okay. If you want, you can take a picture for a moment. Select a, a particular signal, select a clock. Okay. So after selecting clock, it will have a window like this. A pop-up window will be projecting. So that the signal name A is that period is 100. Okay. So if period is 100. You can uh, fix it as 100 itself. Just give OK. Okay. First thing. Second signal. You right click. You give clock. Here uh, you change it to 200. Period as 200. And then uh, you click once, run. Okay. Observe, you can see the outputs. All the possible combinations will be get in one click. You can get all the possible combinations in one click. So if you want to do multiple times, you just click multiple times. Automatically it will talk. The values will be gone. By mistake, if you are toggling both the signals at the same duty cycle, you will be getting only two inputs, 0, 0, 1, 1. Why I am changing the duty cycle? Because one has to toggle for every half second. Another signal has to toggle for every one second. Then only I will get all the possible combinations. Now, if there is three signals, let us say A, B, C as inputs. So, what we can do? 100, 200, 300, or 400, like that you do, power of 2. Or simple thing, uh, instead of that, uh, we can also use, uh, sorry, if you make 100, 200, 400, the screen will be very bigger, the waveform will be very bigger, you cannot take control. So, we can go for the second option, we can have uh, 100. Uh, 75, 50. If 4 signals are there, 100 is the maximum limit, 75, 50, 25. So in the reverse way also you can give, or 100, 200, 300, 400, you can give. Or 100, 200, 400, 800. So anyway, you have to get all the possible combinations. The simplest way is you reduce it. Then it will be there in the same window, you can paste it in your documentation. So if you increase 100, 200, 400, like that means the screen. The output will be very bigger, you cannot paste it in a so you divide. That is a better option. You can follow. So it is feasible, you can follow that. No okay. So in this way, this is the methodology two. Third method is writing test pitch. Writing test pitch. How many have seen that help document? What I have circulated? I have given to you. Okay, thank you. That is suitable for online. Mostly whenever you are going for online, without test bench we cannot run. Okay? So that I will explain in the class and we can go. So now uh, this is the explanation about half order. Similarly you can try for half.